Hey everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my January, I can't believe it, first bag of the year, January Ipsy unbagging. As always, I'm just going to talk about last month's products. Um, if you remember, I did love the bag. I still do love that bag. I need to figure out something to do with it. Um, this is my problem with those bags. Please, please, please leave, leave uh, recommendations down below of what you guys do with your bags. I try to use them for, you know, everything, but sometimes I just don't think of using them, and I know there, there are times where I could be. Um, anyway, the first product was the coffee scrub. I actually have not tried that yet. I've been using some other scrubs, so I haven't tried that yet. Apologies about that. The next is the NYX Professional Faux Black Eyeliner. I believe mine was Black Olive. I did use that. It was alright. Again, it was creamy liner, but it's basically just an off black color. So, like I said, I, I still feel mixed about that. The next is the MAC, MAC In Extreme Dimension Lash Mascara in Black Extreme. I'm wearing that on my bottom lashes. Um, I did try it just by itself. And it's alright. It's nothing special. It does smudge on me like all mascaras do. So yeah, it didn't knock my socks off. But it is cool. It has that little ball tip at the end of it. And it is a plastic bristle brush, which I don't prefer. So that could have something to do with it. The next was the SL Miss Glam L36 Tapered Highlight Brush. I did use that once. It is very nice. It's a really nice brush. And again, I, I love how it looks. So there was that. And the last one was the Misha and Mia Loose Eyeshadow Pigment in White. I actually have not used that yet. It is in my bin of stuff to try. I just don't get to wear eyeshadow that much with work. I just don't have time in the morning. And then I have two days off and sometimes I just want to relax on my days off and not put on makeup. So apologize about that. But there were last month's products. Let's talk about this month's bag. I love, absolutely love the, the bag of it. It's really super cute. Kind of not what I'd expect for January. I feel like this more is like a summer bag, but I'm into it. I love it. The two things that were kind of just sitting out there First thing was the Bio Republic Aloe Rescue Revitalizing Fiber Sheet Mask. That looks awesome, and I assume this goes together. And it's the Illuminating Fiber Sheet Mask. Fiber Sheet Mask. I've never heard of anything like that. I don't necessarily know what the fibers do, but I'm I'm intrigued, and I'll, I'll definitely um, try these out again. A card would be helpful. Ipsy, <laughs> uh, to figure out you know what these products are good for. But I'm excited about that. Um, who, my, I think it was my brother's girlfriend was saying she got something really cool, I forget now what it is, but with her Ipsy points, and unfortunately I always miss out on the good stuff on Ipsy because, you know, they sell out really quickly, so I have to really be better about going on there and, and picking my, my rewards, but I save them up for something good, so I'll just keep waiting. This is the Luna by Luna eyeshadow. It's a really cute box, I love the blue packaging, I feel like not that many brands have the this deep blue packaging but I love it and again it's blue on the outside it looks like a gorgeous rose gold color in Juliet and it does look full size let's see if I can open this there we go there it is there it is on my finger ignore the other swatches I have on my hand but there it is that is absolutely gorgeous it's a little not as like coppery as like a typical rose gold at least what I think of it's more actually rose um so it's kind of unique to my collection in that way. Absolutely thrilled, stoked about that. It's really, really pretty. I love those kinds of shades. Here's the useless card. It says, I will conquer, game face. Literally not even going to read it because it doesn't tell me anything good. <laughs> um, okay, next couple products I see in here is a brush. It looks a little squished, but that's okay. This is the Visanti brush, and it's the Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush. Ooh, it's, it actually looks like a really good size for my, like, small lids. Um, that's great little crease brush to do some detail work or, like, outer V. Um, feels very, very soft, and I've not actually gotten this brand before. I think it looks really nice, so I'm super excited about that. Next thing in here is this Douce. Douce? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, because I don't necessarily know if it's French. Um... And this is the Punk Volumizing Mascara. I do not want to open this because I have quite a few open right now. But I will give this a shot. Um, actually, I guess I will open it because I, I do want to use it this month. So, ooh, it looks like a great brush. It reminds me of the Colossal, the Maybelline Colossal. I do enjoy a big brush like this. Sometimes it's you can get kind of mascara everywhere with big brushes like this. But maybe this one won't be that way. Um, and it reminds me too of the, the, it's the Benefit of the Big or something like that. Whatever their huge brush mascara is. That looks good. Definitely looks like my kind of mascara. The last thing in here, 
need to open it up. Let's get to through the plastic. Okay, I thought this was Ciate and it is. This is the Ciate London Fierce Flicks. I assume just liquid eyeliner, black liquid eyeliner. It is a felt tip. Whoa, that is super black. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say I'm not that excited about this just because it's a, you know, any old liner, but um, yeah, I just did some drawings there. Super flexible, nice super super black on just one swipe I didn't even shake it or anything I am super pumped about this I do as you guys know my holy grail is the physician's formula one but I'm gonna give this a shot I'm actually excited about this and I wasn't going to be until I swiped it on my hand so yeah that eyeshadow I'm excited about those sheet masks kind of are interesting this is nice the mascara I'm actually um, excited about and that brush I'm excited about so and the bag I love so overall great great month for me um, it's kind of surprising because I think my brother's girlfriend wasn't as excited about this month I'll have to check in with her and see but normally I feel like n October November December is when they really make it super amazing because they're trying to get more people to buy it as gifts or whatever but hey I'm excited that they're continuing with these great bags not that I expect a bad bag but you know what I mean I just thought there might be a lull after the holidays but not by me, I'm super excited all around about this bag. So so anyway, I will update you guys in next month's video about all these products. So that's it for me. Hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, bye everyone.